Hey everyone, it's Sherry here with Lamore Pours, and I was gone for about a week and a half. And um, when I got home, I saw that I had all this golden paint already mixed. And I have a rule where I don't let it sit for more than two weeks. It's time to make fresh paint and do a new palette. So here they are. I used an old canvas and painted it around the edges. And this is Green Gold by Golden and Quinacridone Magenta by Golden. The next two are Teal and Phalo Blue, also by Golden. Beautiful colors. <laughs> um, the next two, uh, the brown is the Quinacridone Nico Azo Gold. And the purple is Amethyst by Deco Arts. And that one is special because all the rest are pearl mixes, including the one I'm stirring right now. The Amethyst is a thicker paint. I'm trying once again to control the amount of pearl cells that come into this painting. And this last one, let's get it up here, is Turquoise Phalo by Golden, along with a little bit of Bright Emerald Green by Deco Art, just a little bit to give it some metallic. So that is the color palette. And now I'm going to use up the rest of my pearl base that I had as well at home. And um, I have that two week rule for a couple of reasons, but I think the main reason is, is after all these years, I can kind of smell when paint is getting a little funky. So, and that's usually around two weeks. So all the paint goes and new paint, fresh paint is made. And of course for my shows or any paintings for sale, um, always I use fresh paint. And it doesn't mean I, use, I mix it and use it that day at all. Um, I actually mix it ahead of time because I like those pigments um, to blend in with those mediums and really get absorbed. And that usually, for me, I like about two days. And I think that is the best time to use paint and the best time to paint. Okay, so I'm going to now um, fill this canvas with all of this beautiful uh, paint. And you know, this painting ended up just getting really distorted overnight. And um, you know, lots of things happened that I didn't, I wouldn't normally want to happen. Uh, but I ended up really loving this painting. I don't even know why. I guess, I guess you guys can tell me um, what you think, but I think that I loved it because of uh, the beautiful, brilliant colors. Again, because golden is such a high quality paint. So um, there's that purple, that very thick paint, trying again to control those pearl cells best I can. And um, I'm going to, um, let you guys watch it for a little bit and I'll be back in a little bit. Well, as you can see, we got some beautiful pearl action. 
but I knew the paint was too thick on there. I just really didn't want to distort those pearls. And the paint ended up falling off anyway. They got distorted anyway. But I just love the way it turned out the next morning. I think the colors are amazing. And actually the way that the painting kind of came together, I think the composition worked out really well. And of course, look at those beautiful, that quinacridone magenta, of course, always just pops. And that amethyst really had a great, um, a great sheen to it. Now this is uh, another 24 hours later. And I really wanted to show you, all of you um, the painting completely dry and it just turned out beautiful uh, fun it's too bad it's on an old canvas but um, I think I'll take it down we just bought a house in Mexico um, that's where I was and I think I'll take it down there it'll look good right in one of the bedrooms or you know let my girlfriends kind of pick through my paintings and um, yeah I really do love this painting maybe I'll keep it here for a while who knows um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I put it up on the wall. Here's my little psychedelic beauty for you all to see it up on the wall with a white frame. Thank you so much for watching. I have a few videos to do this week, so I'll see you again real soon. Thanks.